Hey guys, hello, how's it going? Welcome to another video. My name's Matt. I'm here. Oh, this is a shaky camera right now because it's not on there properly. You can hear it all the way through to the microphone. I know from experience. Anyways, we're going on a, on a ride through the countryside of Czechia. And I'm here with Azeb and uh, they invited me to this event for the weekend. Got about 85 kilometers or so. I set the Garmin. I'm going to set the Strava. And then we'll see. I'm riding a, a Tricon. But there's a whole bunch of different bikes with all sorts of different things. This guy has a motor and a gas tank. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's Hansa. He's, uh, he's the rep from from Azeb, that's kind of, I'm his guest. And we've got a bunch of cool rides. There's an electric, and then, I, I, I don't, that looks like a, uh, like a, <laughs> what, what kind of motor is that? It looks like the motor off of a, uh, maybe a blower? Interesting. Maybe it's air powered. Have you, do you have your Strava running? Yeah, I'm running my Strava now. So we're off to a good start. We got some interesting, is there a trike with a, a, a gas motor on it? Yes. <laughs> and a lawnmower motor? Yeah, basically it is a lawnmower motor, but it comes from Honda and you can use it for whatever you want. <laughs> it, it's, it is like a unit that you can buy. And, and install on anything. Whatever. And there are some, I think some like either directly from Honda or you know, uh, some kits that converting kits for bicycles. Okay. So it is not so difficult to use it. Neat. Can, can you introduce uh, the event for everybody here? The event is one of the recumbent gatherings in the Czech Republic organized annually. Uh -huh. it, it is more like a, one of the little ones usually visited uh, by, by the hardcore recumbent riders <laughs> we have here in Czechia. Yeah. So there are many home-built bikes and some from Azeb, few from other brands. Cool. Usually Thursday, Friday, Saturday and then Sunday is uh, leaving. They did uh, about 70 kilometers yesterday and there is a planned tour for 80 or 90 today. Awesome. This is Yannick. Yannick is a superhero. Yannick is Hans's son. Good kid. So the roads in Europe, or at least this part of Europe, are, are a little bit narrow. They're like two lanes. We're on a bit of a wider stretch here, the main highway, but um, kind of quaint. You're going to get a lot of like really beautiful farmland, fields. The air here is really, really fresh. It was a beautiful sunny day with some clouds yesterday, but today it's going to be cloudy and a possible thunderstorm here and there, which is fine. I've got my Ortlieb panniers and handlebar bags, so that won't be a problem at all. We were supposed to do this ride yesterday. I, I had to help Hansa with some wood. He had a wood problem, and we, we worked on that all yesterday. We got a solid workout in lifting, lifting all that wood. And so now uh, we have a nice relaxing ride. I'm curious as to the pacing that they ride. So far, a very relaxing pace. A non-taxing pace. But we have about 85 kilometers to go, so it'll be a long day of fun ride. I haven't been set up with two side bags since my tour. I'm like relearning where things go and where to put things. This is going to be my drone bag. That's going to be my phone bag and my GPS bag because I don't have all the accessories on this trike. Normally I'll have like my ride computers and stuff mounted so I can see them, but I don't have those mounts right now. I'm trying to decide if I hang back with Yannick and Hansa or I sort of mill around. I'd like to fly the drone so I can get some cool shots above all of these guys because that would be fun. But. 
Yeah, I'm trying to figure out <laughs> where my bags go right now. I am sure there's a story behind that giraffe. To be honest, the smells, like the smells of a freshly cut lawn, the, the trees, and this sort of neighborhood with the big front yards reminds me a lot of, uh, of my home, suburban Michigan. I mean, obviously there are differences. The brands of cars, maybe the quality of the roads, the fact that driveways are gravel in this part, actually, is a little bit different in the structure of the houses. The fact that they're concrete, you know, that's something unique. But look at this camper. <laughs> Looks like a like a spaceship. What was your favorite ride at the at the carnival when it came to town? I was definitely afraid of the zipper. Do you guys remember the zipper? The zipper went like on a on an oval and the little carts would flip around. You didn't know up from down, left from right. The thing was all over the it was it was a mess. Typically the guy operating it had a cigarette hanging out over his mouth, big old wife beater, dirty, dirty shorts, long hair, flipping 10 people around on this contraption. No thanks. Did you make this yourself? Mm, his own construction. One of a kind. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, one of a kind. Each side has its own function. One is just to turn, the second one is to flip to sides. Really? Yep. Like that. Whoa! <laughs> Lean into the turns. Yep. Is he an engineer? His background? Mechanic. 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 Yeah. I can tell. Wow. Yeah. In, in fact, this, this is not the first. Uh, this is not the first. Oh, uh, I imagine. Bike he, he created. Yeah. Four trikes. Four trikes. Already made. With the same system. Wow. And and basically this one is the new one, newest model. Oh, Delta. Oh, Delta. The Delta. This Delta, yeah. And this was made especially because of this. Sure. So, because of this, so that you can connect it together. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I saw this. I saw this riding around. And so you have a ball joint here. Yep. And basically, uh, I'm this. I'm the next candidate for that <laughs> okay. uh, with my daughter. Okay. And I'm just laughing that we can then uh, do it so that we just chain uh, for for uh, one after each caterpillar, other caterpillar, and make, we make it basically a small train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the centipede, get a hundred of them. Yeah, when we will meet the centipede, then we will be better because Hase made a couple of years ago just 97. Really? They made, uh, there was an, it was a, really there was a Hase, Hase meeting on one place and they uh, coupled together 97 strikes. They are doing these deltas as well. Wow. And uh, they just blocked the traffic in the whole, in the whole village. <laughs> So this is from a local, local brewery. Okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, from the town. We went so. Is this like a wildlife preserve, like bird sanctuary or fishery? It's more like fishery. Fishery. This is not going to be a very stressful ride. And I don't have to wear a helmet, which is very nice. Yeah, this should be fun. Very relaxing ride. And we'll probably be stopping and having some beer periodically. A lot of unique rides around here, for sure. Bob. <laughs> Thank you.
the reasons to get a fully suspended trike. One word, cobblestone. <laughs> the, re the vibration of cobblestone reduces considerably with every improvement you give to your suspension. Looks like there's a little village market here. What do they call that, Hansa? A reverse tandem? That back to back. Back to back. Back to back. So it's written just B to B tandem. B to B tandem. Yeah. Oh, I've ridden them. It's Spezzy. I rode one. You rode one. Yeah, it's fun. If you can, you know, if you can cope with that going backwards, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Being totally. in the back. I am gonna make a prediction today that I am gonna cook like a lobster. That's my prediction. I hope it doesn't come true, but it most likely will. I put on some sunscreen this morning, but I just have a feeling that it was inadequate for the beauty of the day. <laughs> we will find out. It is inevitable. Uh, most like, uh... Ciao, Yannick. Yeah, I rode a back-to-back -back tandem in uh, Spezi, in, in Germersheim, Germany, a number of years back. If I remember, I'll link it, but you could just search S-P-E-Z-I Jayo and see the episode. But I rode the back-to-back -back tandem there that a guy built. Really interesting, because you pedal your feet forward, but you're going backwards. So <laughs> it's, a real, it's a real psychological thing. That is fun. The countryside here is really beautiful. We are going like in and out of, I would call them villages, maybe towns. Not, not quite city level, but probably cities here in, in Czechia. Anyways, we're, we're coming up on Strasnys. And then we'll uh, open up out of Strasnys and uh, maybe I'll throw the drone up again because it looks like it's just going to be beautiful farmland. Yeah. If you want to go the whole trip, yeah. they go and they will eat in the, you know, uh, the village where they switch and go back. Okay. So it's additional like now we have 20 so additional 20 there we will they, they will have a lunch there yeah. and they will go back and I can't do that all with, yeah, yeah, with Yannick yeah. so yeah. we will we will stay here for a lunch then we'll do part of it probably and then we'll turn and we'll go back so okay. yeah I'll stay with them I'll do the whole so, thing yeah so you can you can stay with them and cool. uh, this pump <laughs> All right, so we're back on the road. Hansa and Yannick are gonna turn around. They can't go the full full distance, not with Yannick. He's a bit young. But I think my only connection to English, having a good conversation, is sort of out of the window. There's another guy here that was on that tandem that knows a little English. So it'll be a nice, nice calming ride with some Convers Hello. With some uh, body language conversations, I think. Whatever the case. It'll be fun. There are, there are many, many a day's rides that I've done in different parts of Asia and the world where I couldn't communicate one lick of English with anybody. But I had connections nonetheless. 
That's the joy of travel. Now, I don't normally ride in a team. I'm most of the time so solo, especially when I'm cycling. That goes for when I'm traveling in general too. But um, now I'm with a group of people, similar, similar minded people riding similar vehicles, all, all shapes and sizes of similar strange cycles. <laughs> all shapes and sizes of similar, similar shapes and sizes of similar, <laughs> shapes and sizes of similar, <laughs> try to say that. Shapes and sizes of similarly s shaped cycles. S similar si <laughs> You try and say it. Anyways, I'm uh, hanging all the way to the rear. That allows me to stop if I want to and take a video. I actually was in the middle of the pack and I saw a really cool place to fly a drone. So I just, I just pulled off onto the shoulder but I, I, I freaked out the guy behind me who was riding a, a tandem bicycle, or a recumbent bicycle. And he biffed it hardcore. Just did a header into the, into the grass. And uh, I felt sort of bad. So I figure if I can chill out in the back, maybe not all the way to the back, there's a couple of people there. Some people go to the bathroom and then they'll creep up from behind. But I can't do as much damage if I want to make a video or something. I felt really bad. I was like, sorry man, sorry. And he looked at me like, me no speak English. The bus is, uh, is as slow as we are. Not intentionally. But it's very nice that they're slowing down for us. Hello. This luggage rack, this luggage rack is a beast. Look at that thing. That's a monster. Lunchtime, I think. Lunch. I just finished eating uh, some lunch. Schnitzel. Drinking coffee. I'm sitting all by myself. I'm completely alone. Everybody else is sitting at other tables. I feel like the kid at high school that's new to high school and then he goes to the cafeteria and he has to sit all alone because nobody's gonna... <laughs> nobody's even talking to me. It's okay. <laughs> Just get a funny feeling. It was a very awkward lunch to be honest. Really, I sat there all alone the whole lunch. Now, I, I'm not holding it against anybody, it's just, it was sort of an uncomfortable circumstance. Everybody had their clicks, and I sat there at a table all by myself. <laughs> I was, you know, I was sort of expecting somebody to be like, you, come over, or, or just the hand movement. <laughs> Nothing. Zero. <laughs> and the coffee came out, and it was very, very watery, which was okay, I guess. It was just not very strong and then I got to the bottom and I about to drink the coffee and I drank a spoonful of coffee grounds basically I think they took hot water and then they put a bunch of coffee grounds in there <laughs> different strokes for different folks I guess I'm like eating blacks in my teeth <laughs> anyways we're halfway through the ride on our way back. I stopped, I stopped to have some beer with some friends. This is an American IPA. Literally American. America. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> but I think we're gonna get rained on. It's a well, uh, well-timed shower. 
I, I ended up sitting down with some of my friends and having some beer, and they're like, American, American beer, because it's like an American, literally an American IPA. And so uh, while we were drinking, it started pouring down, so we got under the tent. Our trikes are cleaned, the street is washed, and we're ready to get back on the road. A couple of beers uh, heavier. That's uh, about five kilometers off. But. How many kilometers now we go? 55? Uh, to the, to the uh, end or uh, what we have uh, now? Right now and the end. Right now I think it's 52, 53 maybe? 51? I think we have now uh, 61 kilometers. 61, okay. And uh, 25. 25 more. Okay. If any of you are wondering, my knees feel pretty good. My knees feel good. And if you are wondering why people might be wondering, I had stem cell injections in the United States uh, about a year ago, right? I think it's been about a year. And as of now, I think they feel fine. I think you need to give it a day tomorrow. I'll, I'll give you an update on it. Here comes a train. We are stopping. Yes. Yes. For next beer. For the next beer. Okay. <laughs> You're good. You're good. You understand. <laughs> you gotta stop for beer. The guy says, "Look at the wet bandits." Do you know that reference? Wet bandits. If you want, uh, this is the. What percent? This. This is your aim. It's <laughs> bravery. We, we were uh, last. Yeah. Okay. Last stop is Loka. We're, we're basically riding a few kilometers and then we're buying a beer. And then when I turn my head, there's another beer there. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Oi. So Hansa uh, told me that uh, the Czech Republic, you, you really need to love your beer. I understand that now. I understand that very well. Redick is going to go home, but I'm going to keep going, and we will go to the to the campsite. Redick has a, a black Azab. Your okay. Azab is beautiful. I can okay. very very uh, very nice. Very nice to, to meet you. To meet you. you. <laughs> Safe yeah. ride. Safe ride. Ciao, Ciao. 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 This is my Chinese horn, and uh, after the rain, he <laughs> do this. <laughs> this Make, the noise. Make the noise. Make the noise. Make the noise. Yes, I don't know why. No. <laughs> All right, we're back on the road, and I am uh, a bunch of beers in into this thing. But it's all right. We're just going to a campsite to chill out, so there's no nothing pressing. Oh, guys, if you could smell that smell is so nice. It's like lush. I could smell that we're by the water. It's just really fresh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He was saying that <laughs> yesterday somebody lost an electrified trike in the water. She uh, she forgot to engage the parking brake, and she lost it. Was it? An, it wasn't an Azab, right? Uh, it wasn't an Azab. It wasn't an Azab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're late. We're very late. What are we very late for? I think we are very late to drink more beer. I think. I was riding into Japan 
and I was approaching the downtown downtown Tokyo like the busiest city in the world almost and uh, that was some of the roughest road I've ever been on it was through the villages and through the <laughs> through the farmland it was crazy it's amazing that you can go through such rough roads on the precipice of approaching one of the most modern cities in the world it was way worse than this that's for sure when you're on a trail like this you can see the real difference between the benefits of riding a trike and riding a bike i can get about that left tire and my rear tire on the trail at one time hello but that that tire over here has so much resistance to the grass that i end up losing a lot of momentum and it's a lot rougher for me to go if i was to try to line up the rear tire to to hit the trail which is a good idea i guess in theory because that's where all your traction is so basically right now my left and right tire are dragging even even i'm trying it's still uh dragging from the i mean this trail is too narrow but the benefits of a trike like stability when you're riding the uniqueness of the of the vehicle which is very cool and the uh sheer enjoyment that you get out of riding a trike you got to weigh those factors when you want to purchase one also obviously if you have a disability or you have a physical ailment that precludes you from riding a bike like a balance issue inner ear problem some sort of brain problem or even a spinal injury that you know tweaks your balance or you're completely cut off from your lower extremities in which case a trike can be evolved into a hand trike which allows you to ride it with your hands instead of riding it with your legs you know then then obviously a trike is the way to go i like a trike because it's unique it's fun it's a little challenge i'm never shying away from a little challenge and uh when you ride it you don't have to lay it alongside a tree or anything you know it stands up on its own oh boy i drink a lot of beer it's uh it's right about here right now but i'm in czechia and so we're drinking some beer folks Yeah, see this trail is wider so it's a lot easier but as soon as you get up into one of these troughs you gotta pick one tire and all right this trail is much more acceptable this is much nicer and we got a great view that's beautiful it's been a beautiful day we were supposed to get some thunderstorms but none of that Well, so quick. <laughs> uh, it was the southern part of the butter tunnel. Okay. When the uh, where the uh, coal was loaded on the boat. The coal. Coal. The coal. Coal. Yes. Co coal. Yep. And uh, I'm afraid there is not a good way for trike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is not designed for trike. Yes. We can, Bikes okay, but trike. We can take it. Uh, by the Slovak uh, uh, site. This is good right now. It is, is it? not good, <laughs> but it is maybe it is yeah. better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this. This is much nicer. It's a little less rustic, but it's a lot faster. And once you're here, you can you can really pick up some speed. Oh, but oh, then then this is the best. This is the best. This is where owning a trike is perfect. Hello. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Holding bicycles over their heads. Yeah, downhill on a trike, on a flat road. All day long. Hello. All right, we're going to dinner. Hansa just called me. 
We separated from him a while back, but he's going to dinner. We're gonna catch up with him. Hopefully, grab some grub. I'm hungry. Okay. Hey! Yannick, how are you? We made it. <laughs> see you later. Okay, okay. Have a safe drive. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, how are you? Did you ride your bicycle today? A little bit? Yes. How long how long you have the camera? And this, this, this camera? camera? Yeah. Oh jeez. I break many cameras. <laughs> this this camera probably lasted maybe three years. <laughs> and you are satisfied with that? I have bought this camera three different times. The same one. I you like the same you one. So model. All of my videos. If he's watching my videos, all, all of my videos are with this camera. A few fans of Jaya. Anyways, uh, like, subscribe, share, comment. Like I'm going to end this now. We'll wake up tomorrow. We have a fun ride back to um, Whiskey Brot. The, the sound of uh, the city, Ruski Brot. Ruski Brot, yeah. Ruski. It sounds like whiskey brat. <laughs> like 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 German brat like sausage like whiskey and brat. I thought it was like uh, Czech breakfast was a whiskey yeah. and a brat. <laughs> whiskey brat. <laughs>